we're commemorating here in Memphis, Tennessee, the importance of what went on 50 years ago, but this is also a call to action. A call to action in our communities across the country. When we go home, back to our communities, we've got to educate and mobilize and organize like never before. Oh, certainly. So, in your own words, the theme, we know that the slogan in 1968, 50 years ago was, I am a man. Tell us how. Tell us about I Am 2018 and how that came to be and what that really all means. Well, we actually took it from the slogan of I Am a Man. Uh, we wanted to commemorate the importance of those workers, those 1,300 brave sanitation workers going on strike in 1968. We wanted to carry that slogan further but incorporate other, other issues that are confronting us, whether it's I Am a Woman or I Am a Human or things of that nature. But it is. It's extremely important. Uh, that we understand where we have come from. We've got to always recognize and understand our history, but just as important in understanding our history, that sets the pattern as far as where we go mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. And that's why this, this whole week is so important. We've had trainings uh, the past two days uh, with young people, with labor activists, with the faith-based community, with our co coalition partners, where we are talking about going back home and talking about the real issues that confront all of us. There is an attempt in this country right now, as you well know, to take us backwards. Yeah. And yeah. we cannot let that happen. Yeah. We've got to continue to move forward. The only way that you do that is through collectively coming together and making our voices heard. Lee, what is the state of organized labor, especially in, in your union, um, 50 years later? Are the workers you represent getting the respect they deserve, getting what they need, being treated fairly, have things gotten better or things gotten worse? Well, you know, we're a big union. In 1968, our numbers were around 350,000. Uh, today, our numbers are 1.6 million members across the country, public service workers who dedicate themselves to public service, uh, who are everyday heroes who never quit. We are under attack yeah. like never before. We have a bullseye on our back. Uh, because people want to take away the rights that we have fought for for so many years, collective bargaining, the right to sit at the table and negotiate wages and working conditions. There's a Supreme Court case yep. that's staring us in the face right now, Janice versus AFSCME, where if the Supreme Court overturns the, the law of the land right now, we can lose uh, because it's essentially stripping our power away from us. Mm -hmm. And so we're under attack like never before. But let me tell you something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic okay. about what's going on simply because I think that you see a movement mm -hmm. that's reestablishing itself that where you have people recommitting themselves, whether it's the students who are saying enough is enough, whether it's women who are saying it's enough is enough, Black Lives Matter saying it's enough is enough. We've got the to bottle that energy, we've got to, to work together because the issues that they care about, we care about. Yeah, yeah. And they're under attack, we're under attack. Right, so right. that's the importance of this week, bringing people together and having marching orders and going back home saying, hey, we're going we're gonna to fight in 2018 and beyond. First thing you can do is to fight at the ballot box yeah, yeah. in 2018. Um, 1968, 50 years, where, where were you, Lee? You, you weren't born yet in 1960. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm a little older than that. I was actually a junior in high school in Cleveland, is that, Ohio. Is that right? And I remember when Dr. King was killed the next day, mm. um, the African-American students in that high school decided that we were going to walk out. Uh, and I guess it was, we were probably back then maybe 25, 30 percent of the population mm. of the student body. Uh, we walked out and all of us uh, went downtown. And uh, we were met uh, by police because they thought that there were, there were going to be issues and problems when we all merged into what we called Public Square. We went down to pay respect to a prophet yeah. who was assassinated. Uh, in a very violent way who believed in nonviolence. And we went down to pay the respect in a nonviolent way. Now, if you recall, a couple of days later, uh, not only Cleveland, but a number of cities across the country uh, felt the effects of the, of, the, of the riots that took place. Um, but order was restored. Uh, and uh, we've still got to continue the nonviolent approach, I believe, that Dr. King so strongly believed in. But we've also got to be very strong about fighting back. And also, just to be clear, so our audience can understand, it was AFSCME here in 1968. It was the sanitation workers. That it was, was Local 1733 AFSCME who was representing those sanitation workers. The city refused 
to recognize the union. The city refused to recognize the humanity of those workers. The city refused to sit down at the table and negotiate wages and working conditions and health and safety issues. If you were called, two sanitation workers were That's crushed, right. Right. crushed in the back of a truck on February 1st, 1968. And that really was um, the straw that broke the camel's back. I mean, those, right. those sanitation workers have been fighting for so long, but when those two brothers were killed, yeah. they said enough was enough, and they had to take it into their own hands. 1199, SCIU claims that Dr. King called them his favorite union. I guess you might dispute that, right? Well, 1199, they're, they're good brothers and sisters in that union. But, yeah. uh, uh, but you know what? This is really not only about AFSCME or SCIU or the trade union movement. This is our history. It is. This is AFSCME's yeah. history, but more importantly, this is America's history, and we can never forget it. All right, Lee Saunders, thank you, man. Thank you for being, being thank here, for all man. you do. Thanks I am 2018. Thank you, man. All okay, right. good seeing you, brother.